hi guys welcome back to my new video and today in this video you will learn about the css animation as you can see on this computer screen i have added css animation on this website if i refresh this website you can see all the elements on this web page is coming at different time interval and it is animated in different form like logo is coming from the top to bottom and the main text is coming from the left to right then the featured image is in the zoom animation and the social media icon is coming from the bottom to the top so we have added different type of animation on this web page and different animation delay so you will learn to make this css animation step by step in this video so before starting this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one now let's start this video so here you can see we have this web page that we have already created in our earlier video you can find that video link in the description and in that video i have already created this html file this is the html file for that web page and this one is the css file you can get that video link in the description and i will also add that link in the cards so let's come to the web page again and on this web page you can see we have this logo over here so first we will add animation on this logo so to add animation on this logo let's come to the html file and see here we have added this logo and the class name is logo so we will add animation in this logo class name so just come to the css file and here in this logo we will add animation and write the animation name i will write move down one second and linear and one like this now we will write the keyframes for this animation name so let me add some space here and here i will add keyframes move down right zero percent and we will add transform translate by minus 100 pixel and again duplicate it make it as 100 percent and it will be zero translate by zero that's it after adding this we will again refresh the website and you can see the logo is coming from the top to the bottom but right now this logo is coming immediately when we refresh the web page so we will add some delay so that this logo will come after some time when we will reload the web page for that we will add the animation delay so let's come back and here we will add animation delay of one second after that you can see the animation is starting after one second but the logo is still visible when we refresh the web page so we have to hide that so just come back and here we will add visibility hidden like this and let's copy it and add it here in the keyframes it will be visible visibility visible in 100% also after applying this again refresh the website and you can see initially logo is hidden and then the animation starts but you can see after animation end the logo is again hidden so to keep the logo visible we will come back and here we will add animation fill mode so the animation fill mode will be forwards after that if i refresh the website you can see this logo animation is working fine so we will add the same top to bottom moving animation in the cart icon and this navigation links so just come back and copy this four line of code just copy these four css properties and let's just scroll down we will come to this cart so in this cart icon we will add this four line of css properties that's it and we will change the animation delay so i will add three second so there will be some delay in this animation let's add the same property in this nav so the navigation link will be animated and here also we will change the animation delay it will be two second so here also i am adding different animation delay after adding this refresh the website and you can see first the logo is coming from the top to bottom then navigation menu then then cart icon you can see all these three items are coming at different time interval and it is animated in the same style 
next we will add the animation in this main text you can see here and here we will add different type of animation so let's come back and copy again the same four css properties and we will add it here in this content and let's change the animation delay so this time i will add the animation delay four second after applying this let's refresh the website and you can see first you can see the animation on top three elements then this main content but it is also animated in the same style it is coming from the top to down so we will add different animation in this one it will move to the right side so let's come back and here we will change the animation name i will write move right like this and next we have to write the keyframes for this one so let me copy the same keyframes that we have written and i will add it here after this content just copy this move right write it here and instead of this translate y i'll write translate x and here also translate x that's it after changing this again refresh the website and you can see first the logo and menu is animated then the main content is coming from the left side to the right side so these animations are working fine next we'll add the animation on main image so let's again copy the four css properties and scroll down and here is the feature image so we will add the css properties in this feature image here we will change the animation delay it will be five second and we will also change the animation name so let me write zoom in because we will add the zoom in effect so here let's add the keyframes zoom in at 0% we will add transform scale 0.5 and visibility will be visible let's duplicate and change it to 100% and the scale will be 1 that's it after applying this again refresh the website and this time you can see the featured image is coming as a zoom effect like this so now we have animated the featured image also next we will add the animation on the social media link and we will add different animation it will come from the bottom to the top so let's come back again copy the four css properties and we will add it here in the social links next we will change the animation delay it will be six seconds and the animation name let's add the animation name move up because it will move from the bottom to the up let's add the keyframes so let me copy from the above here we have written move down so let me copy this one and i will add it here after the social links change the animation name it is move up so in this keyframes we will change the value translate y it will be 100 pixel we will just remove this minus it is translate y 100 pixel and in this social links you can see we have already added transform rotate so we have to add this rotate also so let's copy this one rotate minus 90 degree and add this in the keyframes that's it so after adding these transform let's refresh the website and now you can see animation on the logo then link and cart icon main text feature image and the social media link so we have animated all the contents on the web page but right now you can see for few seconds the scrolling bar is coming so we will just come back to the css file and in this container we will add overflow hidden add this overflow hidden save these changes and refresh the website and now you can see all the animations are perfect and animation delay is also good and there is no scrolling bar so this was all about the css animation css delay and css fill mode 
I hope this video will be helpful for you. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comment section and please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel Easy Tutorials to watch more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching this video.